Hey there guys, OGM here, welcome back to Banjo Tui. So guys, last time, oh man, well, what do you see different? One, the Jinjo's a different color. Two, uh, that's about it, the Jinjo's a different color. Basically what I'm trying to tell you is, welcome to a new file of Banjo Tui. So guys, I'm not gonna lie, I was editing, and in the last episode, I completed 100%ed Grunty Industry, and now today, unfortunately, when I was going back and editing, for whatever reason, the episode just completely failed, and so I have no idea what happened. Like, it recorded it all, right? And then halfway through the episode, it was like the original Godzilla movie, like the black and white one, where the game was like, let's say I'm jumping right here, right? And then all of a sudden, like, you would just hear the, woo, right now. So it's like, I'm already in, like, say, the next room, and it's just now making the jump sound. It made no sense to me, but anyway... Hello everyone, welcome guys. So I have a list of everything that I did in the last episode. I'm going to be reading the list and I'm going to be talking to you guys. This is going to be the biggest cluster bomb of all time. And also you guys might notice too, a lot of my stats are different. So don't yell at me like, oh, the ginger wasn't that color. Oh, why is this not the same? Oh, it's because it's a different file. I'm just telling you guys now, if you want to skip this episode, I get it. But, you know, we're here, we're there, I'm everywhere, no one knows what's going to happen. All I know is I'm going to fail. But, you know, that's never really news. That's my life. Hello, little zappity zap zap. Please go away. And one, two, perfect. All right, so, hello, little green Jinjo. We know that you're a Minjo, pretty sure. Aren't you a Minjo? I think you're a Minjo. It's been way too long. Can I shoot you? Just go away. Yep, you bounced. You're definitely a Minjo. Okay. Well then, uh, I guess next what we can go ahead and do is if we can go over here. Nope, nope, I'm falling, I'm falling. Oh, I thought I was going to break my face. I did not break my face. Okay, cool. Hello, Mr. Piggo. Smash your face. And we're going to climb and not get zapped. Or we're going to get zapped. You know, that's completely fine. I was on the side of the pipe, but somehow, some way, I got zapped. Hello, fire exit. Please give me freedom. Give me escape from the fire. That is going to be my death of the Piggos and everything. Jump over here. And what do we have? Fourth floor. All right. We're mooking. We're mooking. We're mooking. We're not making progress. We're now mooking progress. We're mooking. It's like a combination between like milk and a cow and making progress. We're mooking. And the reason why we're milking cows is, well, that was a long stream of Minecraft. Let's just say that. If you guys were there for that stream, you understand. But if not, well, just know you mook a cow now. You mook them. You need a cow. You make a cow. You milk a cow. You mook a cow. It's okay. Everything's okay. Just put your head down. It's fine. <laughs> Alright, anyway. So we have some Kazooie feathers here. We can now fly for days. Also, I heard that little whistle. Thankfully, though, I do know that, that one's a Minjo. Alright, so jump over here. And where the heck are we? We are now in floor four. The crushy. I wish it was almost portal. The mashy spike plates. No, there's no spikes on them. It's just now a crushy crush plate. All right, smash your face in. What do you give me? Eggs? I wish that was a different egg, but whatever. Anyway, hop on up these boxes, and what do we... We have a split-up pad, and a box. Box gives me mumbo pad. All right, so we got a nice little mumbo pad over here, and what do we have over here? We have nothing just like my head right now. Completely empty, and I'm going by notes. Perfect. What could possibly go wrong with this? The answer, everything. Everything could go wrong with this. Also, you're dead. All right, well then, uh, what do I even want to do now? I don't even know. Let's go ahead and just, you know, let's take the warp pad. I think that's where we want to go now. So we're going to go ahead and take that, and we're going to, let's go, let's go explore. I think I like that the most. Let's just go ahead and go explore. We unlocked the flying pad after all. So let's go ahead and take the sky and fly away. Also, Mr. Matter Muncher Man over there wants to munch my face. Because he wants to taste me and he wants to fight. Everyone thinks that I am just here to be an annoying voice. But no, I actually like the taste of banjo feet. Mm, and not to mention kazooie feathers. Mm. <laughs> Sir, you are disgusting. You are absolutely like the definition of trash. Trash. All right, sir. Bite you and I pick your face. Mr. Matter Muncher, you stay in your little pool of, like, toxic sludge ooze. And now, here we go. Ready, set, fly straight up. And hello. Beautiful. You are now gone. Let me inside. Where are we? I have no idea where the heck this even leads. This leads me to Pagey. Hello, Pagey. I'm going to snag you real quick. Perfect. That's 15. Nice. Not too bad at all. And also, fly away. 
All right. So, now here's the thing about this level. This level is rated by each floor. I'm pretty sure that you guys already know that. But as you guys can see, not every floor has an open window. But you guys also might remember, too, that there were some screws and stuff that we had to do. Well, that's because some of these windows connect to different places, right? I mean, I'm pretty sure you guys get that by now, right? However, with that being said, go ahead and come right here and then check this out. Smash your face in. And hello, beautiful. Let me inside of your hole. All right. Now we get to screw this hole because, you know, I do love me some screwy holes. All right, what are we doing? Hello, Mr. Rabbit Man. I'm a free you. I'm a free you, Mr. Rabbit Man. You shall be freed. I don't know why you were really on that little island, though. I want to know. I get it. He's a rabbit, so he can, like, jump super high, but... Why is it that he would just chill there? I mean, I get it, he's dirty, but come on, dude. Come on, man, you can be a better rabbit, and you can jump down. I mean, you jumped up there anyway. Come on, buddy, you can do better than that. You really can. You just walk two steps. It's not going to hurt you fall that. It won't even hurt Banjo to fall that. That's just a free fall. All right, anyway, so now that we've done that, let's go ahead and unlock the actual, like, kind of, sort of, secret floor. Not really secret, but totally secret floor. Floor number five, a.k.a. the roof. All right, so now we have a warp pad. We can go to all five floors. And here's the weird thing. It makes no sense. No sense whatsoever. But you go ahead and hit this pad right here, right? And then congratulations. You're now on floor five right here. It's just that simple. It's like, what? Why is this even a floor? Why don't they just call it the roof? No, it's called floor five, the roof. What? Floor five, the roof? Yes. Yes. Floor five, the roof. Where the heck are we now? There's a Jinjo down there. Hello, buddy. I'm going to snag you, and hopefully not... Hello, little rabbit man, too. Come here, Mr. Ginger. Well, there's my yellow Ginger, at least. We saw one last time. Well, you guys saw one last time. I can't tell you the last time I saw it. Like, maybe two episodes ago is what I saw it, but, I mean, that's in the future, and you guys are in the past, and whatever. It all makes sense somehow. Let's just go with that. Anyway, can I go up here? Yes. All right. Mr. Window, what do you have? Do you have something beautiful on the other side? <gasps> you do. Hello, golden piece. I love you. Jiggy, put me in your pocket. No. That... Backward. Backward. Put... Put yourself in my pocket. Not put me in your pocket. First off, you'd have to wear pants. Second off, if you wear pants, I'm a little concerned. Because then, that whole entire sentient Jiggy that we had in Banjo-Kazooie, he's now, like, evolved into wearing pants. And then some. Alright. So now that we're here, we've got floor number five. And we've got that right there. So I'm gonna have to... Oh. Aw, oh, hello. I see you. I'm going to have to screw you. All right. So I'm going to screw you, and then I'm going to shoot you across. So go here, and then let's go ahead and zoom it on in and fire. Perfect. Dude, I love that whole entire zoom. I mean, I know you can do it without the zoom, but the zoom just makes everything so much easier. And it's completely optional. Why wouldn't you do it? I mean, you don't have to pay anything. It's just literally talk to one extra dude. I mean, in an RPG collect-a-thon or whatever you want to call it, I mean... In any type of game where you have to go and collect things. Whatever it may or may not be. Why would you not talk to every NPC? I mean, come on, dude. Everyone knows that. Anyway, go ahead and screw this. That makes number two. Going for three. And number four. What does that do for me? It opens up a hole. All right, so I screwed it four times, and it made me a hole. Okay, cool. So now we have a little portal up to floor five. That's not bad. Also, hello, washer. Run your face down. All right, and also, I hear a rabbit. I did not see a rabbit. Did you guys see a rabbit? I did not see a rabbit. I think he's on the other side. Yeah, look, there's a door. So he has to be on the other side. All right, cool. So we have a rabbit. We have a hole. And we have a Jinjo and a puzzle piece. All in my pocket already. Perfect. All right, well then, uh... I guess now what we can go ahead and do is warp back to number five here. And number five is going to take me back to the roof. All right, so floor number five. Here's the thing. If you go ahead and fly up now, remember Rusty Bucket Bay, guys? Let's go ahead and just check this out here real quick. Remember in Rusty Bucket Bay, those smokestacks that had things? Well, guess what? Now they do again, except instead of this time being a jiggy, now it's a honeycomb piece. And we're going to go ahead and just snag that right here if I can fly without being crazy and probably making someone sick. All right, so let's go ahead and grab that. Also, this is disgusting. I just want to say this is absolutely disgusting, 100%. I mean, can you just imagine that just... Oh, yeah. 
and just like slowly mutating, growing a third arm. It's fine. Remember that little piggy? Yeah, that would be us, but it'll be all from gas instead of water. Everything's fine. Gamma radiation, alpha radiation, beta radiation. Either way, you're getting irradiated from that gas and you're going to die. That's what it comes down to. You're going to die. Also, smash your face. Hiya. All right, now that that's open, let's go ahead and drop on in. And what do you have? My little buddy. Hello, little yellow slash blue Jinjo. How are you? Get in my pocket, please. Cool. All right, well then, now that we've done that, uh, I guess now what we can go ahead and do is let's go ahead and open up this packing room because, you know, we're back in the boiler. Uh, sir? Sir, that is rude. I was talking to the people. Sir! Yeah, that's right. You better run away. I'll blow your face down. Anyway, let's go ahead and try and open up the packing room because I feel like that'd be a good idea, but we need a battery. So, we know of a couple batteries. We have the floor one battery, which is now done. That's the outside one. We have the two on floor two. We have one on floor three. And is that it? I think that's it. I think that's it. Cool. So let's go ahead now and let's just go ahead and snag the floor two one. That way we can just finish off all of floor two. And we'll save the floor three one, which is like right here. We'll save that one for last. Because I mean, you know, obviously there's two batteries left. That means that there's going to be two more doors left, right? Humba, come to me, madam. You and me, we're going to do things together. And these beautiful things are going to involve putting things inside of my sack and then you taking my sack and bashing things over the face with it. Because, you know, secretly, she's secretly like this super secret agent that can just murder everyone. I can see it. Humba's totally a secret agent. All right, come through here. And Mr. Zappity Zap, I do not want you to zappity zap me, please. So I'm going to go through here. Later, Zappity Zap Man. I do not want the Zappity Zap. All right, so where the heck is that battery at? I think it's up, isn't it? It's like with the rabbit. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. So we need to go over this way. Dude, it's so hard trying to remember what I did and what I didn't do. Because again, I completed this 100%. I was like, sweet, we're done with this level. And now it's just like, oh geez, what did I do and what didn't I do? All right, anyway, is this the one that we're missing? Please tell me, yes it is. Bash your face in, sir, get out of here. Is this the one we are missing? Survey says it is. All right, and Mr. Cameraman. And there's pipes, and yeah, there's really no way to get there without going back. So, uh, risk it for the biscuit, here we go. Mr. Bisk Risk. Sir, can you go away and try, stop, just stop. That's rude, that's rude, boy, that's real rude. All right, I'm gonna stuff you inside my sack. All right, now that we're inside my sack, let's go ahead and come over here. Run away, sir, you do not get to touch my sack. Only the battery gets to touch my sack. Go away. Piggo, you too. I just told them that they're not allowed to touch my sack. What makes you think? No, sir. No touching my sack. That is my sack for me to touch only. My sack, not your sack, my sack. Don't touch my sack. Anyway, now that I've had my sack properly beaten into people's faces, because you know, I just love putting my sack in people's faces. That's my favorite thing. You think you've seen teabagging and that's bad. No, just wait until you take off your sack and just bash someone in the face with it. That's my favorite. I love bashing people with my sack. You know, who doesn't, right? It's a healthy thing to do. Also, wrong spot. Let's go and just climb on up. That'd probably be the easiest thing to do in all honesty. Just climb up the little elevator shaft. Sir, hello. Bash you with my sack, my favorite pastime. All right. All right, let's go ahead and jump on in here. And climb on up. All right, we're going all the way to floor three. Oh boy. And we're climbing, and we're climbing, and we're climbing, and then I let go, oh God! No, not really, all right, anyway. So we're just gonna keep on going up here, and we're gonna go all the way now to floor three, which is right there. That's actually not that bad. We're basically already there. Also, I kind of like how each floor is labeled by a different color. I don't know if that's how actual elevators work like that. Not like they have the little lights blinking in them and whatnot. Like, if they're labeled by, like, colored markers on the wall or something, it'd be kind of interesting to look into. Hmm. I'm kind of interested now. All right, anyway. Coming down here. And packing room. Hello. Would you like to, you know, help me out here? Please? Please. All right. Throw this in there. And there we go. Additional battery power channel to door. Access now granted. All right, well then, what did we do here? We got the floor packing room. Twinkly packing challenge has been located. Game rules are available. 
sir, I was not expecting a game in here. No. I don't have my girl. Sir, no, I'm not ready. Can I leave? Sir. Sir, no. No, I'm not ready for you. Go away, sir. I was not ready. I just wanted to, you know, explore and be happy, but no, that's not the case. Also, only two health, huh? Well, kill myself. That's the easiest way to just reconnect the two. It really is. All right, eat me. I'm kind of sad by that now, to be honest, because I was really preparing for, like, the best thing ever, but no, it was just nothing but disappointment. I mean, it's a mini game, great and all, but at the same time, I'm not ready for a mini game yet. I still have things I need to do. I really do. Sir, don't you understand my life dilemma right now? All right, so from there, let's go ahead and come down here. And let's go up to floor three. And I'm pretty sure we can just walk into the boiler room at this point. I don't think we need to go all the way back. Now that we have Banjo and Kazooie, we can just flip on up, right? Should be pretty simple after all. All right, Mr. Zappity Zap, go away. I do not want to touch you. I want to touch nothing. Nothing. No touching for me. All right, Mr. Nut, go away. I don't have a sack to bash you with, so I don't want to bash my nut with my sack. It's not, it's not helpful. It's really not. All right, jump up here. Jump up here. Old rubbish. My life story. My life story. All right, anyway. Going into the boiler plant, and here we go. All right. Progress. Progress has been made. Floor three boiler plant. Let's get out of here. Mr. Pig, go away. Sir, don't even think about it. Yeah, that's right. You just do your thing. Look around. It's not very polite to try and smack people, or yell at people for that matter. That's rude. Yes, I am ready now, Mr. Talking Mouth Face. I am ready. Let's do this. Grab myself some shoes. And twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder, how about you get in my pocket? That's the song. Sticking to it. Also, I kind of really like this game because this game, one, it's super easy. But two, I mean, if you guys really look at the floor, it actually combines the colors whenever, like, they get close to each other. Like, you guys can see the blue and the red right there made purple. Green and red right there made yellow. It's kind of cool they actually, like, incorporated that aspect. Because, I mean, they could have easily just been, like, red, green, blue, and that's it. But they actually took the time to animate different colors. I really did appreciate that a lot. I mean, I know that kind of makes me sound like a nerd, and I kind of am, to be fair, but, you know. It's what I like. I really enjoy those little touches that bring a game to life like that. I really do. I appreciate it. I give it the A-OK. -okay. Can you guys give me something more than just red, please? I mean, for real, though. I mean, I got 16 points of red. Great. But for real, though, dude, this is nuts. Also, my shoes are almost down. That's not a good sign. So, dink, dink. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. That's what I was afraid of. I'm sorry, sir. I I did not get my bonus. I'm sorry. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I failed you. I am the failure. Sir? Sir, can you just not? Can you, can you not screw me? Is that an option? All right. Now that I've got this, go ahead and grab this. And let's hopefully get, you know, the red less than the green and the blue this time. Because, I mean, last time it was just like, here's some red. Enjoy it. RNG is not on my side. That's what it really comes down to. I hate RNG so much for so many different things, and this would definitely be one of them. Also, I just want to say, too, these Twinklies now, I mean, they have been in so many different games now. They've been in the Bumper Bash. They were obviously, like, in Banjo-Kazooie with the whole entire Twinkly munchers. But, I mean, at the same time, these Twinklies have gotten around now, dude. It's kind of nuts if you really think about it. These Twinklies, they're becoming famous without really doing much. They're just there being adorable. They do themselves. It's fine. Also, 34, huh? Well, I take what I can get. I think I need 50. If I remember correctly, and this is definitely not going to give me 50 at all. I mean, I'm close, sure, but 40 is not 50. RNG needs to stop trying to screw me. It's oh, I only need 50, 40. Really, I only need 40. Cool. I thought I needed 50. I seriously thought I needed 50. Sweet. I wonder how close I was last time. Man. I don't even know. Do I want to play again? No, sir, I do not. I really do not want to play again because I had no idea. I did not read the directions. I was just doing my thing. The Twinklies were there. I was just, you know, infatuated with the beautiful lights. That's what I do. Clearly, I'm just, you know, five years old. The lights, pretty, shiny. It's like, oh, oh, look at it. Oh, it's so pretty. Ugh. All right, anyway, let's go ahead and do my favorite type of travel. Dropping on down and then grabbing on at the last second. Dude, I love fast traveling like that. It's so nice. All right, anyway. So now let's go ahead and swap out Banjo and Kazooie for just Kazooie herself, dude. Because, you know, it's time for her to shine. She's going to go ahead and grab these little suction cup shoes here. And now these little suction cup shoes are going to take me all the way over here. 
past Little Matter Muncher Man, and up this wall. Now, here's the thing. There's a treble clef right here, right? And there's also this window. For whatever reason, I don't know why, but I broke open this window. It's not supposed to be broken. You're supposed to break it yourself, but basically just shoot it with an egg. It's really not that hat. That had. It's not that had. It's not that guy. And now it just, it, it's had. It's had. I don't know why. Anyway, just shoot it with an egg. I don't know why I shot it like prior to recording. I was like, oh, I'm just going to shoot this. <laughs> and I was like, oh, wait a minute. Whatever. Anyway, that door is supposed to be closed. And also, I just want to say, too, we're on the first floor. Why the heck is it so high up? Seriously. Like, what the heck, man? All right, anyway, flap over here, spin it out, and looky, looky here. Intruder alert. Backup required. Defend Grunty's treasure. Sir, I'm not having you today. I'm not ready for your feistiness. You were trying to be feisty by not giving me my bonus. Sir, that's rude. You're trying to be feisty and not give me my bonus. I can Why is it taking so long to aim, dude? That's not even cool. Yeah, look how long it's taking me to do anything. I don't like that. I just need to kill off one major dude. If I can kill off one major dude, I'll be okay. Just please give me a second so I can aim. No, look, look, look. He's on me. He's on me. He's on me. They're all on me right now. Just give me a second so I can... Nope. I need a second so I can aim. Need one second so I can aim. Because as soon as I can aim, I'm fine. Nope. Nope. That's it. That's it. That's it. Yep. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that was it. I broke my face. Broke all my hopes and dreams. Everything was gone, broken, dead. Well, to be honest, it's not much better than what I did the first time. I'm not even going to lie. I'm kind of glad I get to record this episode because the very first time I did this, somehow, some way, I didn't jump. And so when I like walked off that platform, I just walked straight down and I just died instantly. I did that twice in a row. I don't know why. I really don't know why. And I was, I even made the comment. I was like, I'm stupid. I don't know why I did it though. Because I did it twice. I was like, hey, I'm going to do the same thing. I bet it's going to work. It's the definition of insanity right there. Doing the same thing and expecting different results. Clearly, I'm nuts is what it comes down to. All right, here we go. Spin it on out. And here we go. Second time. Here we go. First one was just a warm-up, right? First one's a warm-up. Boom. 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 And one more. Ready? Boom. Ha-ha. Sir, I told you. There it is. Intruder has defeated the Tin Tops. Grunty's treasure has been lost. That's right, sir. You better lose your treasure. It's now mine. Get out of everything. All right. Well, then. Hmm. I guess now what we can go ahead and do now is... Have we... I think that I'm supposed to unlock Humba and Mumbo in this episode. I think is what I'm supposed to do. And the reason why is... This level actually needs both Humba and Mumbo to be unlocked at the exact same time. It does not work without it. So, first things first, let's just go to floor two and unlock Humba. We're not even going to transform into her. We're just going to unlock her. And then same thing. We're going to go ahead and go to Mumbo, and we're not even going to do anything with him. We're just going to unlock him. Do I have a Globo to give to Humba? Madam, I do. Please take my Globo. Stuff it inside that pool. Magic ready. Jump in Wumba's pool. Well, sorry, madam. I'm not ready for you yet. I I do love you. I promise. I'll be back for you. Just please don't forget about me. I'll be back. I promise. Soon. I'll be back in the past. Or in the future. Whatever. Just somehow I'll be back for you. I promise. I promise you I'll be back, Humba. And then you, Mumbo. I don't want to stare at you pulling out your rod again, and yet I know for a fact you're going to. Here we go. I've got a Globo. Must give Magic Creature to Mumbo if you want help. Do you want Mumbo's help, sir? I do, but can we just, you know, avoid you jiggling your sack in my face? Everything in, in this episode is involved around sacks. This is what I'm learning. He's jiggling his sack in my face. I beat people with my sack, and I just put my sack in their face. And now he's going to pull out his rod. Clearly, this episode is brought to you by sacks and rods. Mostly sacks. This is a public service announcement, everyone. Don't play with sacks. It's a bad idea. Sure. We'll get all the help that we can. Throw it in. All right. There we go. Put it back in the sack. Pull up my pants. Jump off my chair. Pull out my rod. And there we go, guys. Perfect. All right. So now that we're mumbo, let's go ahead and now run all the way down to floor numero... Yeah, numero four. All right, cool. I was like, I was going to say numero uno, but I was like, no, we're not going to floor one. That's why I had to pause there for a second. Now, we're actually going to floor four here. And the reason why is because 
we're going to go ahead and play with Mumbo's pad here. But guys, unfortunately, this is where we're going to have to end the episode, everyone. So guys, next time on Banjo-Tooie, we'll be back in the past. And I'll be back on the original play file, so everything should look normal. The Jinjos will be back. My health will be back. I think everything else was on count. It should have been. I tried to keep everything else on count, but I'm not sure. But everything should be back on, unless there's another error while I'm editing. But we'll find out. So, guys, join me in the past, or next time, or in the next episode, or whatever you guys want to call it. Thank you guys so much for coming, and until next time, OGM, signing out.